Hey there, in this series I will show you how to, how to build a community poll app. Um, the idea behind this is that you guys can submit ideas on this app and I can make videos out of it. Uh, let's have a quick look at the final result. In this video, I will show you five things that you can do before jumping right into Bubble. And in the four other videos, it will be mostly about building. So when you um, are starting to build uh, a new app, uh, what's important is to focus on what are the main functionalities that you, you want to have so that you don't get uh, just you don't go into too many directions at the same time and end up doing work that doesn't pay and becomes irrelevant because you you didn't uh, I mean you you wanted to do too much at this at the same time where instead of focusing on one aspect that would be the core of your app. So let's just, um, so first we want people um, need to be able to post uh, new IDs. Um, everyone can see what the other people posted. Uh, it can be IDs can be uploaded. Make, make this maybe a bit bigger. Uh, yeah. So that you can probably see it. Um, so that would be the main thing. From there. What would be the next most important step, according to me, would be to have an idea on what would your database look like. So, um, from what we see here, let's let's pick each of the these first features and try to think about data. So, if we think about the first one, um, we have users. And we will have IDs. And that would be our main thing. So you will so we'll have like maybe just a pseudo pseudo. Um, you will have a list of ID. List of IDs. And on the ID side, um, I want maybe to have some kind of um, ID tab types. Let's say um, this is a tutorial. This is uh, a new app. This is regarding to uh, how to use a specific feature. So I think we can have like ID types that would be okay. So something uh, I didn't properly start with is that when you think about data, you have to think at the same time on what will it be. So a pseudo would be a text, a uh, list of IDs would be IDs. And on an ID would have the type. Um, so what I will do for the type is that I will create an option set because the type would be something uh, static that would be the same. When a new ID is created, you would be able to choose from different types. So let's say option set um, type. Yep, something like that. Um, an ID would have like the content. Um, let's say an author. 
and the author would be like a user. The content would be some text, and uh, we will have something um, that will be a list of user. And what we will do is that in order to know how many people liked it, we will just count this list of users. So liked by. So we have users, we have IDs. Um, what else could we need for an ID? Comment system. So maybe later on, um, comment system so that people can discuss the details of an ID. Um, and something that would be nice to have at some point would be a countdown um, before the next time uh, I need to pick an ID from the, the app. But uh, as I mentioned, these are features that just uh, comes from my mind and I don't know if it will be really useful. So I just uh, keep, yeah, keep them around, but uh, I won't be going for it right now. Um, okay, before we jump right, right into Bubble, um, so I just, yeah, um, something else that we might want to, to have would be like a little bit of, little bit of a style. Um, but before, before we go into the style, um, I'll go from like inspiration. Um, I, I got the idea of this, of this app, um, because in uh, many companies you have like this issue of, uh, how do we collect feedback? How do we define the roadmap? How can we prioritize what's need to be done? And this this app is just um, a way to uh, get so, some some insights. Doesn't mean that um, what people will tell you to do is uh, the right thing for your product, um, but it can just give you some clues. And the more data you have, the, the easiest your choice my choices might might become. So um, I just wanted to go into this and uh, yeah let's just go with this uh, it was Nolt so Nolt.io was one of the uh, things that look like uh, that I got this ID from um, we won't be doing the exact same thing but we can ba be based on this um, so this is how they do they upvote. Um, this is how they suggest a, suggest a feature, but it seems like it's like one board for everything. So yeah, basically our app would look like something like this with a list of feature, uh, maybe an upvote. Um, we can show or not show uh, who who had the ID in the first place. At least we would have it somewhere, but um, it would be uh, a choice to make uh, if we need to display it or not. Mm, yeah, something you might want uh, have an idea of what it's like, um, like the style that you're going to apply to everything around. Um, I could do some, yeah, some quick wireframes. So doing it in a uh, thick jam, it would be pretty ugly, but it can, could be enough. No, I, I just do it uh, somewhere else and then paste it back in, in the same thick jam. So um, what we want to have is like a desktop. And basically what I want to do is to, um, probably have some like login on the top. I mean, a header on the top and would be, I'm doing it 
like gross on purpose because I don't want to uh, take too much time to to spend too much time on this. But uh, the idea would be to have like a, our our list of IDs uh, down here, and let's say this is like type. So let's say this is um, feature work through feature feature explanation and this would be I I strongly encourage you guys to try to put uh, real content as much as possible even I know it, it takes time but um, it will always leads to better development in the, in the end um, because if you just uh, pass down some lower ipsum, it won't um, be the same at what it would look like. Would it take what uh, what the space that would be that it would take, and all this kind of stuff. So take a bit more time to reflect the content because everything that you will do uh, is it depends on it. So feature explanation. Uh, let's say create a tarot app uh, that would be the ID and then we could have like um, I will go with I use this plugin often which is Iconify so that you can just have uh, yeah I will go with something like this to display the upvote and we will have like a name number uh, let's say 8 And what else did we have on our database to display here? So the list of user contains the author. So proposed by, I don't know, Patrick. I don't know if proposed is like the right Eng English for it, but and uh, let's just say this. It would be like community pull up. And let's just go for something uh, like maybe 100. It'll be a bit big, but so yeah, basically that would be something like this. And what we will need to have is like a button, um, mm -mm, like create. And just go back to twenty or something. Like, okay. Create. Uh, talk talk. And yeah, it pro probably la like have a field background, and this would be another color. But we we don't really care for now. This will probably be, be like bigger. Uh, something like that and every ID was, would be below each other. Uh, what we would want to do is also this ID to be sorted uh, from the ones that have the most likes and we would want this to be sticky. Um, what else could we have here? Uh, probably, I mean, this is way too big so I, I just uh, put it a bit down not like this but yeah okay something like that and then uh be something like logout i don't know why I just didn't do it right away logout and something like hi uh if it was patrick can go with something like this Yep. So this is pretty basic, but 
uh, that's what we're going for. We could just show it like right away for people that are not connected. And once they log in, they could create something. And let's say they can't click on here if they are not logged in. So that, uh, yep, just something like that. Um, and this way, people that, that don't have an account, they could be able to see what's going on, uh, which feature is winning, and uh, it might be an, an incentive so that they uh, create an account so that they can vote as well. So let's copy paste, paste this into our fig jam. Maybe a bit big, but so we go with our royal frames. And we just want to have uh, like a small ID on. We'll just go and take the colors from my uh, YouTube. YouTube channel for now. Uh, we want to choose a font. Uh, I could have done it earlier, but that, that's something that we'll be doing to Bubble. Okay, so um, let's jump into Bubble. Uh, before creating like a new app, I want to show you something that uh, I've done so that I can be a bit faster when I create some, something new. Um, I've created myself a, a style guide because I don't really like um, what the styles are like in Bubble because you can't really have an overview of everything that is going on. So what I've done is that I've suppressed some of the styles in here and I've created a page where I can see most of the controls that I will be using. And once you've created this kind of, um, you just create a project and you do this. Um, when I need to create a new app, I would go on here, I would just duplicate my, um, so this would be our community poll, poll app. All right, so from there, I will just go into my styles and I will take some time to, I mean, I don't even really need to do this right now. It's just that uh, this is my, like the base that uh, I will be using and that, that I can modify later on. Um, I will just do something real quick. Um, I will go into this and I will just copy paste the colors for my Figma so that I can use it like uh, a bit quicker. I will go for it. 